Today is Wednesday, December 21st, and it's the winter solstice. And apparently, if I go outside today, I'll cast the longest shadow I'll cast all year. And there's no sun in my back garden. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go out the front. Rage, all the neighbors are like, what is she doing? Okay, so I'm going outside at noon to cast the longest shadow I'll ever cast all year. Damn, that's actually pretty long. <laughs> Okay, so I missed a few Vlogmas videos, so there's quite a few things to actually catch you up on. The weather, as you can see in the other videos, has been shit. And of course, the first thing that the Irish do in times of strife is that we go buy bread. <laughs> Extreme weather warnings, bread gone. Pandemic, bread gone. Oh, are you getting two, just in case? No, I was going to get two anyway. Sure you were. No, I was. Because, because of the snow. Two, is it because of the snow? Two, is it because of the snow? Yeah, it's the snow. <laughs> Thank you, you got your you got your lines right. I never told you at the very start of Vlogmas, totally forgot that I applied to be an elf. I am taking a break from editing to apply to be an elf. I just spotted that up on Instagram and I'm going to apply for it. I might get to be one of Santa's elves. I think the short hair will help me on this one. And I didn't get it. And I think that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I would have been the perfect elf. I'm five foot and I've got short hair. And I am a delight to be around. <laughs> We got our Christmas tree. Last year for Vlogmas, we went up to a Christmas tree farm up the Dublin mountains, but we got a cancellation because I told them I was gonna make a video about it. That thing is so popular. And on the whole hell, I was getting one of them again. So we just went to a local school car park, like normal people, and paid more for the tree in the end. Only about it's like 20 quid more, but still. Let's go, it's fucking freezing. One new thing is that the guy said to us to put a bottle of 7-Up in the base of the tree, which had never been said to us before. So on the way home, Alex got a bottle of Sprite, which just for the record is not the same thing as 7-Up. But in all and anyways, but I put it into the base of the tree anyway. Apparently the sugar in the drink will help the tree really just pop and be super tree -y. I'm not even sure to be honest. But look, there's Millie asleep in front of the tree. How cute is she? Alex bought a new house mat. He went to the shop specifically. I came home and I said, what is happening? And he said, we needed a new mat. Because the previous one was pretty faded. It said, wipe your paws here, and it was almost faded off. And I said, but what gave you the idea? And he said, I went down to the hardware shop especially. And I said, you went to the hardware shop especially? And you got one that only has a lifespan of like six weeks. And he laughed and said, I didn't think about that actually. Also because of the weather, it ended up that the tag draft that I was very excited about just got cancelled. But before it got cancelled, the player that I picked ahead of my own husband as a strategic decision pulled out. And so I've learned my lesson. Next tag draft, pick Alex because I can make sure he goes. Eat that now for the next tag draft. That's going to be my strategy. And then Alex will only help me because it doesn't benefit him to help anyone else. And I will have not only his playing power, but his strategy power. <laughs> so yeah, apparently they're doing another tag draft in January. I'll believe it when I see it. Last but not least, apologies to everyone who was like, I'm out. <laughs> Of the vlog where I talked about skincare. I have a lot of men that watch my content and that's great. Here's the thing. Skincare is not just for women. <laughs> I totally get mine up with somebody's interest because they're not interested in it. But I used to not be interested in it and now I have the skin of a fucking alligator. So why don't you learn from my mistakes and get interested in it earlier? I know, but seriously, not every vlog must be a banger. I said this last year. It's weird because like, I never really cared about Christmas before I met Alex. And Alex got me really into Christmas. But for whatever reason this year, I'm just struggling to feel the Christmas spirit. Part of it is that life is fully back in Ireland now. It's like the pandemic never happened. In fact, it's like, it's like worse than it was before the pandemic. There's so much on, but everything is selling out. Everything that you can get into is absolutely packed. You can, can't get taxi home for love nor money. It was even on the radio and on the news, how, how people are struggling to get taxis, like it's that bad. A part of it as well could be the fact that there's been way less Christmas drinks for me this year. I don't know why. Just my specific groups of friends, whether they're so busy with other groups of friends or whatever it is, I just haven't had as many Christmas drinks. Also, I don't work with anyone else, so I haven't had work Christmas drinks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Vlogmas. I hope you have enjoyed the videos that I've put up so far. I'll be going up until the end of this week, and then I'll be taking a break 
until the new year. In the new year, I'm going to be doing Streamuary as well, which I'm very excited for. I'm going to try and stream every day in January. The weekend streams will be probably from my phone and a little bit more relaxed. Um, but I'm going to try and hit that daily mark just to see can I do it. In celebration of being one year on Twitch. And I started with Streamuary, so it's a nice full circle, full circle moment. If you are in a position to support me on Patreon, the link is down below in the description. You'll get bloopers videos, extra videos, extended cuts, ad-free versions, and members-only live streams, and access to a Discord server, depending on the tier that you pick. If you're not in a position to support me on Patreon, I do have super thanks on these videos, and I also have a Ko-fi link down below in the description, where you could buy me a Christmas coffee to say that you enjoyed the Vlogmas. The heater's starting on, of course it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Slán, slán. Thank you.